Hello everybody, welcome to High Ground, my name is Tanner, and today we're going to be going over the full event guide for the Six Invitational 2023. As you can see here, uh, you know, they did put this out a few days ago, but I'm getting around to talking about it now. So, uh, I did cover the, the groups and a little bit of a breakdown of the team, so we're not really going to talk about that so much here. I'll just sort of breeze by it. I think I'm going to breeze by a lot of the information because there's a lot of stuff in here. So, the 7th through the 19th of February is when it runs. Uh, this begins in just four days from the time I'm recording this video and possibly when I when I upload it. I will see if I upload it today or tomorrow. But a uh, ton of ton of information, so let's get to it. Dates and locations. So yeah, the 7th through the 11th is the group stage. The first part of the playoffs is the 13th through the 15th, and then the, the final part of the event in the playoffs, the 17th through the 19th. This is the only portion that is open to the public this is what people are buying tickets for and it is in quebec canada you probably know the address if you are attending and maybe you can still get tickets uh, maybe they're sold out i don't know but the link's here age restriction you gotta be 18 and up unless you have parental consent then if you're 16 or 17 you can go information on it here whatever uh, and yeah i think that's it for that but participating teams you're probably aware of it here are the uh well 16 of the teams i'll leave it here for just a moment in case you don't know if you want to see if your favorite team's here or not they are all listed just there uh, some regions more represented than others because the <laughs> each region sort of had a different point earning system, uh, which maybe will be different in the future, maybe it won't, we'll have to see. Uh, and then finally, one team from each region made it to the event via a uh, last chance qualifier, which some teams were auto-invited to and some teams went through a preliminary qualifier to qualify for the real qualifier. Okay. And then they uh, they gave them some, some seeds, and then I guess that seeded them into the groups. But I think the, the only really important thing you need to know is that they didn't put a bunch of teams from the same region in each group. So each group has no more than one APAC or LATAM team, only four LATAM teams and three APAC teams at the event. So, you know, not greater than the number of groups. And then seven EU teams and six NA teams at the event. So... Two groups have two NA teams, two groups have one NA team, and three groups have two EU teams, and the other group has one EU team. So, uh, you know, no no tripling of, of NA or EU teams, so only singles or doubles for them. And then we'll proceed further on, because this is stuff I've sort of already talked about. We have the schedule, and I'll just hover over this for a minute. Feel free to take a look, pause it here if you would like. This is the A stream for just the group stage. Uh, of course, we don't know the matchups that will be played in the bracket just yet, and so I don't think that they've said the actual times for the uh, for the bracket matches. We'll see in a minute. I'm pretty sure that they didn't, though. And then here we have the B stream, so. Once again, feel free to pause if you want to see when any of the matchups will be taking place. And moving on, we have year eight reveals on the final two days of the event, February the 18th and February the 19th. Uh, the first of the two days, it's the uh, season one for year eight reveal. And then they'll go more in depth, I guess, on, on that information on the 19th. And uh, I'm assuming they're going to drop the, like the full patch notes like they usually do on usually on the same day like right after the reveal whenever uh, activities at the event so i mean this is whatever you probably are aware of a lot of the stuff if you are going i'm sure you took a good look and if you're not going you probably don't care so uh you know you can get some on-site apparel some on-site accessories more online apparel you can also not go to the event and get some apparel dev team meet and greet photo booths demo booths q a session professional teams meet and greet cosplay all stuff that you may want to know about but i'm not going to talk about where to watch so a bunch of different places to watch on twitch and youtube we have english portuguese german spanish japanese french italian and korean in uh, various locations covering varying amounts i guess uh, korean is the only one won't B stream okay whatever whatever this says i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put too much effort into it yeah broadcast talent so it's pretty standard you know it's a good lineup but i don't think there's anything that anybody didn't expect uh the the three people that tend to host siege events and then camille salazar who the name's familiar i think she was in like a reveal thing before did she i don't know what did she work in an event before i don't actually know but i recognize the name at the very least cyano easy and medics the um you know the people that observe most of the tier one Rainbow Six Siege matches and then the uh, you know, the casters and the analysts, pretty bog standard. A lot of the people that do do a lot of casting uh, have been relegated to analyst roles. So uh, Jesse, Jacob, Fre uh, Fresh, and, and Anne are usually analysts, if anything, sometimes they cast. And then Mandy and Dev are generally casters, XR Troika and Demo also casters. And so maybe they'll get put on a few games, but for now, you know, they are labeled as being analysts, not casters. And then, of course, you know, Pangu and Natero, Ace and Dez, Fluke and Hap, and Stokes and Blue, sort of the four 
premier casting duos in Siege. So, yeah, no real surprises there. And then here's all their links to, I don't know, what is it, their Twitters or something. Whatever it is, watch parties, information coming soon. Competitive format. So I think this is the last big thing that I'm going to talk about. A couple of things after it, but uh, nothing massive. So things have changed up a little bit from last year, but not, not a whole ton. So last year within the group stage, each team played each other team in their group one time in a best of three. The team, if a team won 2-0, they got three points. If a team won 2-1, they got two points. If a team lost 1-2, they got one point. And if a team lost 0-2, they got no points. And as you see here, they changed it a little bit. So same things for the losses, still one point for a 1-2 loss, no points for an 0-2 loss, but they've put an additional point on these two score lines. So if you win 2-0, four points. And if you win 2-1, uh, you know, three points. So there's four points total that, that the two teams can split in in one or two ways in each matchup. So I guess a perfect group stage for any given team would be 16 points. And this rewards you more so for now winning the series. Before, uh, you know, one point for a 1-2 loss versus two points for a 2-1 loss, uh, it did feel a bit lopsided. I mean, yeah, that the points were equal to the number of maps that you won, but it sort of defeats the purpose of, <clears throat> excuse me, sort of defeats the purpose of playing a best of three a little bit. Um, if you won 2-0, you know, you were getting three points for only winning two maps but uh you know still the split was a little bit strange now it does feel like you were really being rewarded for winning the best of three and not just like you're playing several best of ones put together if if that makes any sense to you guys anyways the top four teams in each group at the end of the group stage will advance to the playoffs so each group uh, only one team will be eliminated and then i'm pretty sure this is identical to last year the top team in each group goes to the upper bracket and they get a buy so they go to the second round um, they have to play one fewer round in the upper bracket and then the teams that rank second in each group will go to the first round as well as the third place teams and then i think what this says is the second place teams get to pick from the third place teams in an order determined by how well they did so i believe this is identical to last year just how the how many points and how they're assigned is a little bit different so keeping that in and then the winners of each match will advance and there's a lower bracket whatever whatever uh, i guess i didn't mention yeah the the fourth place team in each group will go straight to the lower bracket so you definitely want to get top three in your group to uh you know maintain that extra life that you have at the event and then the bracket looks like this so uh, you know they'll play through all best of threes up until the best of five grand final no map advantage right i think that's no map advantage so Probably they'll get some sort of pick advantage, the team coming from the upper bracket, but again, you know, no actual map advantage in the grand final, which is pretty exciting to see uh, from a viewer perspective, a little bit of a debate as far as the competitive aspect goes, but yeah, it is what it is. Pro team bundles and weapons can sell 40% off. Uh, that's a pretty big discount if you actually care about such things. So get them while you can, if you'd like. And then Twitch drops, uh, you have to, I don't know, get information later i guess if you want to know about that safety measures uh more stuff that only applies to people at the venue privacy and image rights uh you know they'll take your pictures or something i don't know stay in touch so yeah that does it for the event guide that does it for me if you have any questions comments concerns corrections suggestions feel free to leave them below uh time's running a bit low so maybe i'll do like one or two more of the shorts i, I think i'm probably just gonna aim for one more and just have an even six and i'll call it good and then uh, maybe a little bit of a little bit of coverage as the event progresses but all right that's going to do it for me so leave a like leave a subscription and i'll catch you guys in the next video